Welcome back everyone, Christine here from Unique Sapphire. It's Friday and yet another video. It's been a long week. So before I get into what I put together for you and your enjoyment, I want to thank everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed to the channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And you'll find that I do some things differently. I don't want to be just sitting behind the camera talking to you. I want to kind of show you hands-on some of the things that I do in the studio here. One of them, like today's video, is going to be spinning singles. And if you're new to spinning or you don't know anything about spinning, singles is one of the plies of the yarn. So if you have commercial yarn at home, if it's four ply, there's four singles into that ply. So I'm gonna spin up some singles. And I've actually shot this over the last few days. It is a complete four ounce bobbin of singles. So in the last spinning video, a lot of you guys commented that you could watch it for days. That's much appreciated, that warmed my heart. So there was also comments about how I get my single so consistent. And I have to tell you, it. wait till the end of the video. I do have some tips and tricks that I did shoot and I will also explain a few more. So I hope you enjoy this. Let's get to it.
driver's seat now. So with any spinning wheel, you have your tension. And this hat holds my tension on this wheel. And here's a little trick. If you don't want a lot of pull on your yarn as you're spinning it, at your uptake, so to speak, you can always wrap it around your hook. So if you have a hook based thing, you can wrap it around the hooks as you go and you'll have less inertia as it's going in. So I get a lot of comments about how I draft or how I get my singles so evenly. Well, again, it was trial and error because I did not have anyone teach me. I taught myself. So I'm going to go real close without kicking the camera here. And with my right hand, I pinch. And you can see how fine that I pulled apart this roving. That way here I have better control of what I'm producing. So as I spin, I pull with my left hand and pinch with the right. And as I feel the tension of the spin, against my fingers, I'll pull back as my left hand pulls. I hope that I don't have long enough legs. Maybe I'll have to hire a videographer here. But that's all I do is my right hand is just following along. My left hand is actually pulling. Even though Sometimes in the video, it looks like I'm pulling with my right hand. I am not pulling with my right hand. I am pulling with my left hand. I'm just following along and keeping that energy in that yarn from moving further down. So that's how I get my single so uniformly is not only do I have less in my hand, to work with, but both my hands working together in unison. So what did you think? So here are some other tips because I read, reread some of the comments from my first spinning video that I did just recently. And it's about how do you get your singles so consistent. It is all in the pre-prep and I take time in my pre-prep to when I'm pulling apart the roving that I get about the same amount uh, in each. So that way here when I'm drafting it's about even. I hope that helps. Also another big thing for pre-prep because results matter I know you've seen beautiful bobbins of yarn or singles and you wonder how all those colors are. It is all in the pre-prep. When people do that, they pull apart their rovings and they don't just throw them in a pile. They start with the same color and end with the same color. And that's how they get that consistent look. It is all in the pre-prep. So those colors will line up and stack. So if you want to give that a shot. Another thing I also get a lot of comments about is treadling. And that's why I was showing you guys about how to slowly uptake. The louette that I have here has a very high uptake. So if I'm doing art yarns, it can pull it in. And that's one of the main reasons why I bought it. And so when I'm Spinning a fine single, yes, my wheel looks like it's going really super fast. You know, sometimes if I'm drafting, depending on the wool and it's going, I don't have an issue. But say if I want to slow it down so I can get a little bit more twist in there before it goes in, especially with fine merino, because again, the short staple length, I will turn my little slider or I'll wrap the single around the hook 
not once, but twice, just to slow it up so when it goes in, I have a little bit extra twist. But you have to be careful with this because you don't want over twisted yarn. So always match your hands to what you're drafting to your treadling. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was fun to make and create, and I hope this helps you in your endeavors if you spin yarn. I want to wish everyone a happy weekend. As always, please like, subscribe, comment in the comment section below if you have any more questions that you would like answered. And yes, I will be plying that upon itself. So stay tuned for that one. So hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.